Welcome to the gun show. Today we're going to take a look at the Ruger American Pistol. This one's chambered for 9mm. I star coated this gun in a battle worn flag theme. Very appropriate for a gun that's called the American Pistol. But we're going to take a close look at it, look at the features, the controls, see how it works, and most important, we're going to go shoot it. Starting at the front, we have a white dot sight that's mounted with a dovetail. There's a picatinny rail on the dust cover. The rear sight is a two dot notch. Here we have the takedown lever and here's the slide lock slide release. And there's cocking serrations on the rear only. Then here we have the magazine release and a trigger mounted safety, just like a Glock. The first thing I noticed when I picked up this gun is that the grip feels really good. There's some aggressive texturing on the back strap and also on the front strap. And it has this nice curve to the back strap that really fits well in the palm of my hand. The weight is one pound, 11.8 ounces. And with a fully loaded 18 round magazine, two pounds, six ounces. Let's go ahead and check the trigger pull. But before we do that, we'll make sure that it's empty. There's no magazine and the chamber's clear. Seven pounds, 6.7 .7 ounces. There's a little bit of take up. Pretty squishy as we put some force on it. And then it finally breaks with just a little bit of over travel. And then the reset is pretty far forward. There it is. But at least you can hear it and feel it through the trigger. Not bad. Let's see what this little Ruger American pistol can do. I have a BCC zone steel target from MGM Target set out at 55 yards. That's as far back as we can go in this bay. Let's see if I can hit it with this Ruger American pistol chambered for 9mm. Got it on the first shot. Let's try to get some more of that. Not bad. 